Hey there, Chuck Lee here with Liquid Stands. Today I'm here to bring you the assembly guide for the MS-1118 second tier. This thing's pretty cool. Let's dive in. Here is all the parts that you'll get in the box. So if you want to pause the screen, you can make sure that you got everything that you need. All right, step number one is going to be to remove the back caps on the back of whatever stand or workstation you're working on. I have the Liquid Stand Z style keyboard stand here. Let's go ahead and get this turned around so you can see the back. All right, so here you can see these little caps will come right off. Let's place those right there for now. Boom, step number one. All right, step number two is gonna be attaching parts A and B. Let's bring you in a little closer. All right, so got our two parts here. So we'll grab parts A and B, and then you're gonna put it in right there, and then you're gonna grab your Allen tool and then pop that guy right on, right on in there. You might have to move this up a little bit to get it in there. Make sure you got your washer on there for a tight fit. The fit doesn't need to be all the way tightened down. You just wanna make sure that it's tight enough that it's on there. You'll see why shortly. But you don't wanna tighten it to where this part will go like that, because that's what's gonna hold us in place. So tighten it just enough that it's on there like that. All right, step number three, we're gonna go ahead and attach that part to the back where we took off those caps. Let me bring you in a little closer. All right, so we'll grab one of them and we'll place it right in there. And you see how loose that is? That's why we didn't tighten it all the way. Once you get in there and really get it tight, you'll see that it won't move or go anywhere. All right, in this next step, we're gonna go ahead and attach our pull knobs. Now these knobs are gonna allow us to move it up and down as we see fit. Let's go ahead and get those on. All right, get this first one on, and you see it'll go up and down. You get it screwed in a little bit more. Now you can just pull it out and go to your desired height. For the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and leave it down all the way. All right, the next step is getting that cross beam installed. We're gonna use our butterfly screws here to make sure that we got that nice and tight. Let me bring it in a little closer. Let's grab our cross beam here, and we'll use our butterfly there, and we'll get that nice and tight. Now this can be attached the other way around too, but I kind of just like the uniformity of having all the pull knobs facing out. Let's also go ahead and get our pull knob in there. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and get those arms installed. Now, for the arms, there does come a little attachment here. So when you're on this smaller side of this cross beam right here, you can make sure that both arms go on and that they're gonna be perfectly even using this attachment. If you're gonna go ahead and just put both arms on the thicker part right here, you don't have to worry about it, but please don't throw away your attachment just in case you need it to be a little bit longer. Let me bring you in a little closer to show you. All right, so we'll grab that one right here. You know, just pop it right on like that. And we'll get that nice and tight. And then, like I said, for this other one, for this side right here, we're just gonna make sure that we've got this attachment piece on. And then we'll come right up here. And you see, that'll fit right on top of that attachment piece to make sure that we're nice and even across the board. All right, now these arms have so much functionality to be switched and moved around, however it's gonna fit your setup the best. I wanna show you one of the main features of the arms as far as its functionality. So, if you wanna have these arms come back more, very easy. All you'll do is just unscrew this knob just a little bit, and then you'll be able to move the arms back. And then you can just tighten that up just like that, and then boom you've got that extra room in the front and you can come back. Very cool. Make sure that's nice and tight. And while we're here, I also wanna show you, these are the lips that will keep your keyboard from sliding off. These lips can be moved all around. You can even take them out if you so choose. Also with these lips, 
if you notice, there's some indentations right there that will make it so wh whichever way that you have it, you can make sure that it has a very, very, very secure, tight fit to it. So if I wanted it right there, I would just squeeze right there. Now it's in place and then tighten it. For the sake of the video, we'll just leave the lips going straight up. Go, now it's tight. And then let's go ahead and do the other side too. All right, next let's get into the security straps. These straps can be placed in two different places on the MS-1118. Let me show you real quick. All right, so for our first configuration, you can put it right where that lip is, okay? So with that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you take your security strap and then the lip, because remember, we're gonna want it to make sure that it can hit those little rivets right there. And then you can pop that screw right back in and then it'll go right in there. All right, our next configuration is if you go ahead and unscrew the part where that can take the arm backwards and forward. Now, when you're doing this, make sure you put some pressure on the top, on the top of this bar right here, so it doesn't go anywhere, but you can go ahead and unscrew right there, and then we'll just pop our security strap right in there. Nice and tight. Now you can have your security strap hanging from right there. Easy peasy. All right, and with that, you're pretty much all set up. I did wanna go over a few of the different configurations you can have these arms in though. You don't have to just stay here and you don't have to just only have that as your only option, moving it back and forth. Let me show you what I mean. All right, and remember, with it being upside down, we're gonna need to move our little lip that way. So now it's facing up. And now you've got this configuration. Another configuration for the arms is it doesn't have to go either straight up or straight down. Hit that nice and tight. And then again, we'll go ahead and unscrew that part. And then boom, now you got this configuration as well. Our lip is in the right spot, boom. Like I said, so much configuration can be done with this thing. Pretty cool, huh? All right, just another additional note. With the Z-stand here, if you want a little extra support, you might wanna consider getting these feet extenders here. With these feet extenders right here, you're gonna make sure that you have that extra support, especially if you have a second tier. Also too, if you're gonna have these arms come back and you're gonna have a lot more weight on the back of it, just having these feet extenders here will give you that extra peace of mind that you're not gonna be too back heavy and your keyboard's gonna fall out. Now it's not required, but I do recommend getting these feed extenders just for that extra peace of mind. All right, and with that, you're done. And again, as long as you have that inner one inch, you can go ahead and put this thing on whatever you want to, whatever stand or workstation you want to. Hey, I really appreciate y'all kicking it with me today for this MS-1118 keyboard second tier. Make sure to check below for more from Liquid Stands and stay tuned for more videos, more assemblies, more feature videos, for more cool products from Liquid Stands. I'm your host, Chuck Lee, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.